Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Sapagkat ngayon, ika'y pinili isang bayan, isang lipi, isang Diyos, isang hari, bayan umawin ng papuri. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together we say, I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray.
Almighty ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our wills to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that he may grant you, in accord with the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with power through his Spirit in the inner self, and that Christ may dwell in your heart through faith, that you, rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the holy ones what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to accomplish far more than all we ask or imagine, by the power at work within us. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations, forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With a ten-string lyre, chant his praises. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. For upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. But the plan of the Lord stands forever, the design of his heart through all generations. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. But see, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death, and preserve them in spite of famine. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Please stand. Alleluia! I consider all things so much rubbish that I may gain Christ and be found in Him. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have come to set the earth on fire, and how I wish it were already blazing. There is a baptism with which I must be baptized. And how great is my anguish until it is accomplished. Do you think that I have come to establish peace on earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. From now on, a household of five will be divided. Three against two, two against three. A father will be divided against his son 
and a son against his father, a mother against her daughter, and a daughter against her mother, a mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Sino ba ang ayaw ng buhay na payapa? Lahat tayo marahil ay nagahangad ng peaceful na buhay. Especially sa pamilya, especially sa ating neighborhood, especially sa komunidad no? na ating kinasasangkutan no? o kinabibilangan. No? Doon tayo makakapamuhay perhaps na masasabi natin maganda ang buhay, hayahay ang buhay kapag payapa ang buhay. Pero it appears in our gospel today, Jesus is not for peace. Sabi ni Jesus sa ating Ibanghelyo, Do you think that I have come to establish peace on earth? I assure you, the contrary is not. I have came to establish division. Pagkakawatak-watak. Ano ba ibig sabihin ni Jesus dito? Did he really mean categorically speaking, literally, maghiwa-hiwalay ang lahat. Ano ba ang ibig sabihin ni Jesus nung sinabi niya ito? Anong klaseng kapayapaan? You see, my dear brothers and sisters, no, sa ating pamumuhay araw-araw, no, hindi lingid sa ating knowledge no, na ang ating pakikitungo sa bawat isa no, ay iba't ibang layers. May iba't ibang layers. For example, sabihin mo, how are you? No? Most would you say, good response, I am okay. No? But deep, deep inside, hindi pala. No? May ibang mga tao na, ang ganda-ganda ng ngiti. No? Pero deep, deep inside, no? may battle pala na nangyayari doon sa loob. No? Siguro, ang imbitasyon sa atin ni Jesus sa mga pagbasa ngayon, no? ay yung totoong katotohanan, legit, authentic na payapang buhay. At paano ito nangyayari? Mangyayari ito kapag meron munang battle na nangyayari dito sa loob. Dahil sa saring experiences meron tayo, especially from our family background, at doon na po purify no? yung sinasabi ni Jesus na klase ng kapayapaan na ni ang mundo hindi makapagbibigay. Sino lang makapagbibigay nito? Ang Diyos. Ano ibig mong sabihin, Father? No? This is the kind of feast that only is possible if we are able to look in deeper within ourselves. Especially if there are turmoils, especially if there are a lot of things going on inside, do natin must be filter out ano yung totoong payapa. Ang ibig bang sina ibig sabihin dito ni Jesus? No? And in that process, my dear brothers and sisters, no, the picture will never be good. Dahil may battle internal sa loob. Most of us, a number of us, no, acts, nakikipag-interact, no, na may, paano ba natin sasabihin, fasad. Ano yung fasad? Pa-press release lang. No? Kung ano yun lang yung panlabas na nakikita ng tao. Ang gusto ni Jesus, mas usisain pa natin no? ang ating kalooban. No? Mas tingnan pa natin ang ating intensyon, choices. No? Paano natin ginagawa ang mga bagay-bagay? No? 
hindi lang yung panglabas. Dahil kapag na-achieve natin ito, yung kalaliman ng ating kalooban, no? mas nagiging totoo tayo. No? At no matter anumang klaseng gulo, no? ang nangyayari sa labas, hindi hindi yan ma estorbo Dahil mas kilala natin ang ating sarili. Mas alam natin kung paano pangahawakan ng ating buhay. At yun ang imbitasyon ni Jesus. Do you think that they have come to establish peace? No. It is division. And war is necessary. Deep, deep inside. For us to gain, establish this kind of peace that only God is capable of giving. Let me end my homily with you with this story, no? this old Cherokee story, Indian, Indian-American story of deep, deep, deep meaning no? that may enlighten more what Jesus is telling us today. No? May isang kwento patungkol sa isang lolo at ang kanyang apo. At ang sabi ng lolo sa kanyang apo, no? you know, apo, ever since may dalawang lobo, no? there are two wolves living within me. No? Fighting inside me. No? Ang isa ay evil. He is anger, envy, sorrow, regret, Greed, arrogance, self-pity, guilt, resentment, inferiority, lies, false pride, superiority, and the ego. Sabi ng lolo. No? Ang isa naman na wolf embodies positive emotions. No? He is joy, peace, kindness, benevolence. Humility, kindness, empathy, generosity, faith, love, compassion. Both wolves are fighting until death. And you see, this fight also goes in each, in every man. No? Every day. Pas napatingala ang apo. Nalaga po. Sino ho kaya ang nanalo dun sa fight ng dalawang lobo? Tiningnan ng lolo ang apo, the one that you feed. Mananalo ang lobo na siyang pinapakain mo ng madalas. And the same is true to all of us. The question is, anong pinaprioritize natin? Aware ba tayo sa ating mga choices? Yun ang pinakahamon sa atin ni Jesus sa araw na ito. Ang kapayapaang mangyayari after the battle that is happening deep within us every day. Amen. Please stand. Trials and troubles may come our way, but we are confident that God the Father will not fall short in His promises to those who are faithful and persevering. In every prayer, we all say, Make our lives worthy of You, O Lord. Make our lives worthy of You, Lord that the leaders of the church who are openly persecuted may be given the courage and the strength to remain constant in their faith. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Make our lives worthy of you, O Lord. That parents may have the strength and courage to guide their children in the ways of faith and Christian life. Let us pray to the Lord. Make our lives worthy of you, O Lord. That families and communities divided by religious differences may discover the truth and show respect to one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Make our lives worthy of you, O Lord. That the sick, the elderly, and the disabled may receive love and attention from their family and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Make our lives worthy of you, O Lord. That those who have died may be happy forever in the kingdom of the Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Make our lives worthy of you, O Lord. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intention. And let us also remember those people whom we have promised to pray for. God, our Father, you sent your Son to help us in our struggles, comfort us in our pain, and give us the strength to always act with trust in your word. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect of your gifts, that you, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him we have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us mercy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art who in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof. roof. But only, but only say, say the, the word, word, and my, my soul, soul shall be healed. healed.
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Is 
Thank you. 